So the next department up is my department, the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and the chair is Greg Potty. So uh, for the parents in the room, you might remember when Al Gore took credit for the internet. Um, so you know you're doing well when politicians take credit for your accomplishments. So it is that back in 1998, the 102nd Congress claimed wireless sensor networks that were actually developed by Professor Potty and his um, colleague here in UCLA, Bill Kaiser, as one of their greatest accomplishments. I think Greg has a little plaque about that. Um, so here to tell you about electrical and computer engineering is Greg Potty. Hi. So uh, usually at this time of day, I'm actually at uh, choir practice prior to church. And standing here at uh, Royce Hall, one of the premier performance places on the West Coast, I'm kind of tempted to give you a solo. <laughs> but I will spare you. <laughs> so um, on the theme of Sunday morning, in Genesis, uh, God's command to humanity is to subdue the earth and husband it. The 20th century was all about the subdual part, and we were kind of over-enthusiastic about that. And the uh, 21st century is now about the husbanding part. How do we enable the resources of this planet to be preserved? How do we make every human being able to share in technological civilization? A big part of that is the infusion of intelligence into all aspects of life. Um, you'll hear about this in your individual sessions in pretty well every department that we're talking about. The infusion of um, computing, sensing, signal processing, uh, actuators into everything around us is what will enable this higher degree of efficiency machines that interact more naturally with people over time. If you consider this nifty device that everyone has and kind of what's inside it, right, there's basic processing. There's, in fact, multiple types of processors. There's many radios. There's sensors for light, the microphone. There's actuators. It vibrates when you have a call. That's an example of an embedded system. These kinds of systems will be everywhere in the environment. They're called the Internet of Things. As I recently heard at a talk, the IOTBD, because everyone has their own idea about what it's going to be. But whatever it's going to be is going to be very exciting, and students who pursue electrical and computer engineering will play a major role in these kinds of things happening. In the um, department right now, uh, exactly as Adnan discussed, there's a broad range of applications. There's a big overlap between ECE and computer science. And in fact, this year we have a new undergraduate degree program called computer engineering that's jointly administered by the two departments in recognition of this degree of overlap between us. If I could um, say what's the main difference is that we kind of move from the physical world up, and computer science kind of looks for the broadest application. Now, this is a gross oversimplification of the picture, but for example, in our department, we just had a professor, Kang Wang, who discovered a fundamental particle, the marjoram particle, that enables uh, quantum computing. And quantum computing is now a reality, and we're in the process of making it a big scale kind of thing. In electrical engineering, we do everything from the basic device physics all the way up through broad-scale global applications. There is a revolution going on right now in devices. Uh, CMOS scaling, which was what enabled Moore's Law, us to go from like a PDP-11 computer with a 9-inch floppy and 64K of memory in my first summer job, to where we are now with gigabytes in your handheld devices. Um, that process, you might have heard, is over in terms of CMOS scaling. But Moore's law is not over. It just means that the techniques that we're using to keep this information revolution going on are, have moved to a new front. Okay? And so we're engaged 
and how to do this at every level so that this information revolution that is going to enable sustainability in every domain of human activity can continue. So I invite, um, you'll hear more about this at our information session in Dodd Hall for those of you going to either the EE or CE degrees. And uh, congratulations again on being admitted to UCLA.